guys, welcome back to Moonlight. I hope you're all having a good week. I'm having a much better day, the sun's out, but I'm gonna get this video done before that sun ray comes in from my window. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Today, we are actually gonna talk about the external reproductive parts of the female body. So y'all, I wanna make it a point that I am clearly <laughs> not an artist, but this is the best I could do. Essentially, I wanted to put an icon somewhere, like a little pop-up vulva diagram icon but that did not work out because it does not exist, or at least I don't have access to it. So I drew it, but for those of you that need a better diagram than that, I am actually going to attach a great like educational diagram in my description. You can also just go to Google and type in a diagram. Make sure you type in diagram if that is all you're looking for, because if you don't, you're more likely to encounter um, real life vulvas. So let's stick to the educational if that's what you're looking for. Okay, let's get started. So number one is the mons pubis. So the mons pubis is actually this bit up here. Um, and essentially with the mons pubis, it is at the bottom, if you look down at your stomach and you look at where your leg starts and where your stomach ends, look inward, that little flat bit, that is your mons pubis. And when you start to go through puberty, you actually start to grow pubic hair. And obviously depending on your hair color, your skin color, your background, that'll determine what color pubic hair you have. I personally have black, and I know a lot of people have black, but I know some people who get red, you know, it changes. That's just how life works. And Mons pubis um, is the first place you'll get hair, so some people laser it off, they shave it off, some people leave it. I personally used to shave mine, and then I found out that there's a significant amount of benefits to keeping it, so I actually still have my pubic hair. <laughs> Number two, let's talk about the vulva. So the vulva is this entire section. Um, so it's everything included in the section. Obviously this is gonna be super short because the rest of it will we'll talk about what those little things are. But vulva is anything that you're describing in here. So say you're to go to the doctor and you know that something in this section is bothering you, you can say, in my vulva I'm having pain. Because if you say my vagina, they're gonna look in vagina, but this is actually your vulva. So if you don't have the exact same term for it, vulva is more of a correct term for it. All right, number three, Ooh, number three is the labia majora and the labia minora. So the labia majora is actually this bit, and really this is my fault. I should have grown the hair down. Oh, oftentimes we have um, hair out here. I still have hair out here. And it's that outer bit um, where if you look at the inner bit of your thighs, where you start to see it going in um, with growing hair attached to your mom's pubis, that is this bit. Yes. And then your labia minora is if you were to, I know like in like just normal day-to-day -day terms, we always call it our vaginal lips. If you were to open your vaginal lips, you know that bit that's a bit pink or a bit lighter and there's no hair growing on it? That is this bit. That is your labia minora. Oh my goodness. That's your labia minora. <laughs> that's your labia minora. So that's that's it, yeah. The just one, the labia majora has hair and the labia uh, minora is actually getting inside as you pull your lips back. That hair doesn't grow and it's usually a bit of a lighter skin tone. Number four is the clitoris. So the clitoris has an insane amount of research on it, but today is gonna to be super short, super simple. The clitoris is this little one up here. So that's the clitoral head and that's the clitoris. Now the clitoris, going back to development, when we are developing in our mother's womb, um, as our cells are dividing, it's gonna decide if we're gonna become um, a female or a male. And essentially that clitoris, for a future little human, and when the cells are dividing, so say the cells decide that you are a gonna be a little girl. So that will actually stay a clitoris and you will continue to grow and develop as a young female and yeah, get the rest of your reproductive parts. But if the cells decide to send you into being a little boy, this actually turns into the penis. So this will grow out and it'll create the head of the penis and the rest of it um, just develops into a little male and a little, instead of a little female. So yes, that's where we're gonna start with the clitoris. The clitoris is much more than just the visible bit, but because today we are just covering what's on the external part, that's all I'm gonna leave it at so it doesn't get confusing. <laughs> and number five is the urethral meatus. So the ureth urethral meatus is what you think it sounds like, the urethra. The urethra is where we pee out of. So 
Peeing is so significant to all of our bodily functions. If you don't pee, please go see your doctor because you should be peeing. Um, essentially, like for example, peeing is one of our detox methods. So when we're having toxins going into our body, into our food, our uh, makeup products that go through our body, our pee, actually like going through our urethromyitis, is one of the ways that our body detoxes those products out of our system. Another benefit of peeing is that if you have any um, type of bacteria, unwanted bad bacteria within your um, labia minora, it is more likely to clear it out for you. So, yeah. <laughs> Number six is going to be very simple. Essentially, the urethral meatus and this. You see that little gap? That is called the vestibule or the vestibule, however you want to pronounce it. It's just a bit of skin that separates these two from each other. Number seven, that is where we're now going to talk about this bit. This is the introitus. And I know based on where it is, you're thinking, oh, that's the vagina. Actually, the introitus has its own little name. But that's because if you were to go down and feel what the introitus feels like on your body, it's actually a, it almost feels like a thick, smooth, rough type of skin. Like it almost feels like a mountain range, but it's smooth and it shouldn't hurt. Like you should be able to run your fingers along and it might just be a bit bumpy along the way. That is the introitus and the introitus is basically the opening and the entryway into the vagina, which we will talk about in another YouTube video. Also super simple is, and it's the last one, this is the perineum. So the perineum is just the, sk the skin between the introitus, the introit the vagina, and the anus. So if you um, can find your own introitus, then if you keep pushing back, you will see, like, you will be able to feel a bit of skin. It's not very long, obviously, depending on the individual, it differs, but as you have that piece of skin, you will eventually make your way to another hole, which is your anus, and that is where your um, bowel movements, your poop comes out of. <laughs> That's essentially it. And essentially, that is all I wanted to cover today, but there are a few points I wanted to make. Is number one, we understand now that this is the vulva, if you don't know the specific name, the vulva. But number two, I understand that we live in a culture where um, we think that a vulva should look a certain way. No. I want to tell you that every single vulva looks different. Those vaginal lips, the labia majora and the labia minora, all look different on different individuals. No one has the same thing. Mine looks different from my closest friends, mine looks different from my family members, and that is entirely normal. I know that there's a certain type of surgery you can get to make it look a certain way. I just want you to know that whatever you do with your body is your choice. Whatever the shape of your vulva is, it is not broken, it is beautiful, it is yours, you own it, and you deserve to have education around why it's normal and the different parts of it, and that's what I'm providing with you all today. Well, I want to thank you all so much for, yeah, giving me the chance to like talk about this. I really appreciate it. It's been really great. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. You can also subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me directly or you can comment below. You can also follow me at moonly.woman if you want to find out more about my Instagram page. All right. Thanks guys so much. I will see you all next week. Bye.